Well, my friends, we explored to the outer reaches of our world in the last episode. But what we didn't do was check to see if there's any chests. And guys, check this out. Arcane water walking boots. I mean, I don't know about you folks, but I think that's a pretty amazing start to the episode. It means we might just be able to go for the Terrace Park boots later on in the series. Anyway, there we are, the right hand side of the world. That's that done. And while we're on our way to the left hand side ocean, I do, of course, want to welcome you guys back to another episode here of the Terraria Master Warrior playthrough. I think it'll be a nice idea for us to finally get ourselves our first set of armor. And just Judging by the fact I'm going around picking up all of this cactus, I'm sure you guys can put two and two together. So workbench goes down. We've got the cactus helmet, the cactus chest plate, and the cactus leggings, giving us three defense and a permanent thorns effect, which is fantastic. Especially considering when you're a warrior slash a melee player in Terraria, a lot of the time you're going to be up close and personal and probably taking quite a lot of damage. So having a permanent thorns effect effect early on is actually a very, very good idea, I think. Now, real quick, I just want to say an enormous thank you for all of your lovely support throughout this series so far. It really has been amazing, the amount of support that has been coming in in the form of the likes and comments and subscriptions lately. Another chest for your boy with another melee weapon. We can use the spear. Now, of course, my friends, if you do want to continue supporting this series, by far the easiest way to do so is simply to drop a like beneath the video. It's totally free to do, and it it really does massively help out myself, the channel, and the video. Consider subscribing, of course, if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. And if you do want to go one further with your support throughout the month of November 2023, you can actually get double discount, so 10% off my Apex Gaming PCs range when you use code Python at the checkout. But of course, if you're more in the market for some Terraria merch, why don't you head on over to terraria.shop and use code Python over there for a whopping 15% off your order. Wait, is this blooming? It is blooming. That's because it's a full moon. Ah. See, in my opinion, the earlier you have access to blooming deathweed, the better things are going to be in terms of you making yourself a little potion ingredients greenhouse growing hut of epicness. Alrighty, the question is this. How many chests, if any, are we going to find in this left-hand side ocean? Alright, well, there's one right here. I can't see a bleeding thing. There we are. Do a little bit of loot all. Lovely demonic breathing reed. Believe it or not, another weapon we can use. Fantastic. Uh, any sign of another chest? No, there isn't. Uh, oh, geez. Okay. That was getting a little bit close for comfort there. <laughs> All right. For the rest of this full moon night, I think I'm going to try and make the most of it by heading back over to a crimson and seeing just how many bits of deathweed we can get. Only when it comes to us farming mobs later on in the series, we're going to be wanting lots and lots of battle potions, and battle potions require... Deathweed. So being able to have a lot of deathweed and being able to grow it as well, it'll all be very, very good for our cause here. So if we pop down into the crimson here and scour the surface of the crimstone here. Yeah, look at that. We've got ourselves a little bit more deathweed. Lovely. Yeah, there's one over there. There's one gleaming over here. And at this point, I think we go explore the right hand side crimson. Ah, oh, cool. <laughs> Little bit of life crystal action while we're exploring the crimson here. Alrighty, very good. Nine bits of deathweed, but more importantly, 19 deathweed seeds. Oh, yeah. Now, I know, I know, it's probably not the most interesting thing to watch someone going essentially flower picking in Terraria, but it's just one of those things, isn't it? It lays the framework to be able to do a lot of epic stuff in future. In other words, making ourselves a whole bunch of nice potions, right? I mean, to be honest, to make yourself a whole bunch of buff potions, that's always a nice thing to be able to do, right? So then, check. Check it out, my friends. There are two weapons we can make. We can make ourselves the Enchanted Boomerang, which is an increase of six damage at the minimum, at the very least. Oh, look at that. Make that an increase of nine damage. 20 melee damage with the Enchanted Boomerang. We seem to have ourselves a bit of an Enchanted Arsenal going on right now. Enchanted Sword, Enchanted Boomerang. <laughs> Not bad, eh? And then we've got ourselves the Flaming Mace, which has the same damage, but of course comes with the opportunity to do extra damage in the form of flame damage. Are we going to get a good one? Boom! 
No, it's a default one. Now, interestingly, I actually have the ability right now to get myself up to the base maximum amount of mana of 200. We need only make ourselves, I think it's nine mana crystals. So if we just do this... Yeah, I mean, to be honest, when you're in a melee only sort of playthrough setup, you don't actually need to increase your mana, do you? We could save these stars for something else, perhaps. Not that I know what for, for a melee setup, but I don't know. We save them up for something. Maybe we could use them in building, if that's even possible. All right, so here's my thinking. We actually head back down underground, and with the usage of this Spelunker potion, I'm hoping what we'll be able to do is maybe, just maybe, find ourselves some more heart crystals. We need, what, seven more? And then we can get ourselves up to the base maximum of 400 health. So what do we think, my friends? Do we turn the anti- up a little bit and go into the jungle in search of our heart crystals. Maybe grind out some materials for the eventual grass blade as well. That could be a good idea, but we have only three defense. So if we do go down there and do this thing, we're going to have to be extraordinarily careful, aren't we? I mean, who knows? Maybe we'll be able to find ourselves a fiberglass fishing pole or maybe the anklet of the wind. You know, the Staff of Regrowth, that would be especially useful. Ah, uh, very good, another chest with three cans of worms. Hey, that'd be quite a nice little fishing boost right there. All right, very good, underground chests, and we haven't even started with our Spelunker potion just yet. <laughs> very nice, we've got ourselves a regular magic Mirror. Okay, we've got ourselves a nice queen beehive, pretty much right next to the surface, actually. So, nice, easily accessible queen bee. Another little house, and this one has Hermes boots. Hey! Remember what I was saying previously? When you're able to run fast and double jump, you're pretty much ready for the Eye of Cthulhu. Wait, hang on a minute. I think I can see another house on my left over here. I can certainly see the stilts for it. Yeah, very very good. All right, yet another load of loot. This one has another maze. Up to my very far top left, I can actually see a shrine, or what I assume to be a shrine, so that's pretty cool. We do need to pick up all of these jungle spores, as I believe they're used in the recipe for the grass blade. It's a proper hidden away little shrine right here, isn't it, my friends? Normally, they're connected to cave systems or whatever, but... Not this one. Hey, feral claws. That's actually pretty cool. I'm thinking we put that on in place of the step stool. And there we have it. We can now use our enchanted sword way the heck quicker. We can get some vines from some of these dudes down here. We've got ourselves a life crystal on my bottom right there as well. Feels good to have a proper ranged melee weapon thingy because I can take down some of these guys right here. I've got this little hornet down here. Yeah, very good. Take these guys down, and our reward is a shrine and another life crystal. All right, well, there's the life crystal at the very least. We'll roll on over here, see what we get in this chest. Oh, yes. What was I saying about getting a fiberglass fishing pole? I bleed and well called it, didn't I? Yeah. Remember what I was saying about how I don't know what I can use these fallen stars for? Well, of course I do. We use them to make enchanted night crawlers. Yeah. And then we can put them in the bait slot. There we have it. And there we go. All right, we're going to have to speed run this. Uh, got this bad boy. There was actually another one to my bottom right over there. Uh, God, there's like 60 million guys after me because we've got blood moon spawn rates in the underground jungle. I mean, can you think of anything worse? Boom, boom, 320 health. That's not too bad though, is it? More jungly spores. Very good. Yet another life crystal. This really is great risk, great reward, isn't it, down here at the moment? <laughs> All right, we got this bad boy, 340 health. We only need three more life crystals, my friends. Three more. We do do need honey blocks eventually, so that'll be quite good to grab nice and early on here. Ah! No! Ah! Death is about to befall me here! Ah, no! No! I think I might actually die here. Wait, 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 wait. Give me a second. Ah! Oh, I was trying to grab the spores! The thorns and the poison combined. That's what got me in the finish, is it? 
The good news is, I was periodically quick stacking my money away, so we only lost 53 silver instead of what would have been like 10 gold coins, so yeah, look at that! We've got lots of stuff going for us right now. Now, in terms of the blood me, my friends, pretty much the only thing that I think will be of any worth will be the shark tooth necklace. If we could grab that, that would be amazing. We would have ourselves five additional armor penetration with that bad boy, right? Ah. Okay. <laughs> Warrior Python got got by zombie. Um, yeah, I did, didn't I? <laughs> Am I good? A shackle! What additional defense! Yo! Man, oh man, does it feel good to be able to run fast? Ah, oh, yeah. Right, can we get rid of this dribbler before he despawns? Ah, oh, jeez. Let's go well out of range here, man. Ah! Uh, I'm going to give up on that one. Alrighty, so good news. We did get ourselves a good amount of stuff from the jungle there. We got ourselves the fiberglass fishing pole. We've got living wood wands and whatnot. And a whole bunch of lovely resources. The only thing is we did not get ourselves a great deal of stingers. But we do have some jungle spores. I don't believe we'll be able to make anything. I mean, yeah, there's the whip. There's the jungle armor. We don't need the jungle armor, of course. What I'm looking for is to be able to make myself the grass blade. Because a lot of you guys are always raving on about the grass blade. And I'd like to see what the fuss is about. Ah, these might help for the underground jungle. I was using the regular 50 peeling potions before. Now we've got the 100 ones. Yeah. <laughs> Wand of sparking. As nice as it is, we're not allowed to use it. Yeah, this will be a good way to get ourselves some stingers. Get ourselves a whole bunch of these jungle slimes, spiky slimes. Yeah, get out of here, son. Why is there 60 million friggin' spiders down here? Oh, there's a pressure plate that's spawning not only spiders, but the skeletons as well. Oh, God, that's terrifying. All right, very good. We've only got two more life crystals remaining. Then we're at 400 health. Absolutely fantastic. We've got ourselves a shrine on our bottom right as well, which is beautiful. And within the chest is a boomstick. If this was a ranger playthrough, I'd be very, very excited right now. Ah, very interesting. A whole bunch of leaves signifying the presence of an underground mahogany tree. Which means there should be a nice old chest in here somewhere. Yeah, look at it do. Oh, only an extractinator. Eh, I'll take the free Eye of Cthulhu spawn though. That's kind of cool. Alrighty, so we're up to 10 stingers and 30 jungle spores. The only thing is I can't actually remember just how many stingers we need for the grass blade. So I'm going to go for, I don't know, 15? I feel like 15 should be a good amount to go for. Oh, hell! Nope, they can still hit me from there. Okay, what about if I do this instead? Oh, yeah. It's a bad amount of damage, but, you know, I mean, we can still kind of roll with it. I've just realized, actually, I might be able to make the Amazon yo-yo. Ooh! That might not be a bad way to go, to be honest with you. So, maybe, if we're going for the goal of an Amazon yo-yo as well, maybe we should actually go for, I don't know, 20 stingers? Would that be enough? I genuinely don't know. Do you know what? I might have to wiki this. Well, I'll tell you what, my friends. I'm very, very glad that I did check the wiki just now. It turns out we wouldn't have had enough with 20 stingers. We need a grand total of 24 stingers. 24 stingers will allow us to make ourselves both the Amazon and the grass blade. So, yeah. Let's get this thing rolling. We somehow need to farm out a whole bunch of stingers without getting killed. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> that might be easier said than done, my friends. Believe me. All right, our penultimate life crystal. And the final one is on my far left over there as well. Beautiful. Boom. 380 health. Okay, there's our final life crystal bringing us up to 400 health. What isn't looking so great right now is our health situation. Ah, okay. I think we need to just uh, take ourselves a little bit of time here just to regen a little bit. So let's put down a nice cozy campfire and let's just wait out the storm. Oh, yes, a bazaar. Yeah, that's actually really, really good. <laughs> Immunity to poison, getting that before going for Queen Bee. 
That is a game changer, because it basically negates Queen Bee's lasting poison attack, doesn't it? Another beautiful mahogany chest. Hey, ankle of the wind. Another amazing accessory, my friends. All right, only one more stinger, and we should just about be good to go. There we are, 24 stingers. Lovely. Am I being greedy by wanting to go for more jungle shrines, though? I mean, probably, right? <laughs> Oh, what am I going to learn that there is a natural endpoint to thing? Oh, good grief. There's so many dudes here who want to kill me. Oh, hello. Lots and lots of gold. Do you know what? I've actually been picking up a good amount of gold. So, I don't know. Maybe we could go for the goal of gold armor, right? I mean, that'd be a nice thing to have indeed. Oh, my word. I'm very glad I continued on. Look. Look at the amount of life crystals. Yeah. Beautiful. Right, I just need myself a space in my inventory to be able to pick them up. And then we can pretty much speed run this. So there we are. There's one right there. Uh, why are there so many things trying to slow me down, man? All right, let's uh, grab this one. Maybe we try and get ourselves inside of this house here to pick up the sharpening station. A good little buff. For melee folks. And look at that. We got ourselves a cloud in a bottle, thorns, potions, even more gold. Hell yes. Ah, you know what? Screw it. I think we're done here, my friends. I think we are done. We've got a lot of amazing stuff from down there. Hey, look at that. The Abigail's minion flower thingy has spawned in. <laughs> That's kind of cool, actually. Ah, look at my beautiful handcrafted, hand grown tundra forest of epicness. Yeah, looks quite nice. It's almost as if it's ready to be built upon. Very good. All right, in the meantime, though, we can go ahead and start getting ourselves a ton of upgrades to finish off the episode. We've got so many items at this point, we're probably going to wind up sprawling into a fourth chest. Oh, boy. We very, very desperately need <laughs> to get ourselves a proper base and storage system, eh, folks? All right, very good. If I've got all of my stuff in order, I should be able to make all of this stuff. So, there's the grass blade. Very nice. Oh, it's a fast one. I will absolutely take that. That's fantastic. All right, and then, of course, we've got ourselves the Amazon Yo-Yo. 19 melee damage. It's already an increase of 10 damage. Not only that, but this thing does have more range and it stays sort of out for longer as well. So there we have it. Beautiful jungle upgrade. I think this is going to take the mace's place. If I really wanted to, I could also make myself the ivy whip. Do you know what? I will. Screw it. Why not, right? <laughs> Coming up next is gold. I wonder if I can make myself full gold armor. Only if we can, I shall. Because, you know, all defense is good defense, right? Oh, come on. There's no way I'm not going to be able to make the full set of armor with all this, right? We have ourselves 20 bars with the helmet, 30 bars with the chest plate, and 25 bars with the trousers. That's a grand total of 75 bars required. We're going from six defense to 19. Now, obviously, the only downside about all of this is we now have the criteria necessary for the Eye of Cthulhu to start spawning in naturally. But I don't think that's going to be too big of an issue at this point, my friends. We've got good defense, we've got a good amount of life, and we've got a good amount of accessories to be able to move around. So yeah, the next episode, my friends, is probably going to be the episode where we finally start trying to take down some bosses. And also... Get ourselves a bleeding base sorted out. For now, though, I think it's time to wrap up this episode right here. It has been a very, very good episode in terms of giving ourselves up. I mean, come on, we've got 400 life, we've got maximum mana, we've got gold armor, a whole bunch of amazing accessories. Like, I'm actually quite chuffed with a lot of this. Like, we've got the anklet of the wind. If we were to grab ourselves, oh, I don't know, an aglet? And the rocket boots from the Goblin Tinkerer will be able to make ourselves lightning boots nice and early on, right? And if you didn't notice it already, we just had a slime rain event start. So I think that's what we're going to be doing for the beginning of next episode. King Slime. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode and of course you're excited to see more, do be sure to head down beneath the video and spend a second to drop a like. I'd really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on my future Terraria episodes here. And yeah. That'll wrap it up. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks for all of your lovely support. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.